Hello, and welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies. In the last episode, we did the first three levels of survival, and in this episode, or we did the whole level of survival, and in the next episode, we'll do, in this episode, we'll do the fall level of survival, but of course, before we do that, we gotta do this end garden. The most important part of this game, as I've said several times. So I remember last time I confused, I somehow confused how many worlds were in this game, so I was thinking, like, I'd do three recordings. Last, uh, last time I did three recordings this time, but yeah, there's only five worlds in this game, so unless I want to move on to the hard levels, which is going to take longer, and I'm only going to do two recordings today, which is probably for the best, because I have some stuff I need to do today, so it'd be good if I don't spend more than like an hour doing this. Well, so, yeah. I guess, uh... As I'm recording this, two days ago, I uploaded the first episode of Puppet Dance Performance, so that's out. That'll be the series that goes on forever, probably, because that game is really long, even without the extended mod. Just Shard of Dreams up by itself is very long. I mean, I'm on episode 11, and I've just gotten out of the Scarlet Devil Mansion. I haven't even gotten to the mountain yet, which is going to take like 10 episodes. Alright, we're done here. We can actually start the game. Survival Fog, now... I, uh... I don't have a plan for this at all. <laughs> I'll be honest. Like, I don't really know what to do here. Uh, so I guess just... I mean, you want cattails, obviously, because cattails are good. Um. Hmm. What would be a good setup? Thinking, got some goofy ideas. I don't know if we'll be able to make them work, but I'm thinking maybe put cattails on like the first half of the pool row, and then put gloom shrooms on like the second half of the pool row, and then like divert zombies from the top and bottom lanes. Maybe something like that. I don't know. Could be interesting. I don't know, let's just see what happens here. I have literally no plan. So, uh, yeah, like I said, uh, uploaded the first episode of Puppet Dance Performance, and makes me want to talk about something. You know, normally I don't really care about views, because I mostly make these videos for myself anyway. I wanted to look at the views for the first Puppet Dance Performance video just because, you know, that was the first episode of a series, so it's like... I don't know, I wanna see if there was, like, any interest in it. Ready? And I just... Come on. Come on, guys. Nope. And that just made me, uh, think... made me see, like... Because I was looking at the views for that for a, a little bit, and at some point it got to like 7 views. And I thought that was pretty good, because that's about as many views as this... It's the first episode of this series got. So, you know... At least someone, someone will watch some parts of these at some point. And then I checked it again yesterday, and that 7 views turned into no views. Which I know is a lie, because someone commented on that video, and they commented on something that happened like at least five minutes into the video. So, um, yeah. I've just gotten to the point where I, like, like I don't even, like, it doesn't even matter anymore, because obviously those numbers mean nothing. Because they, 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 so I'm just, like, not even gonna... Gonna try not to look at them because they literally not only do they not matter, they literally they literally like false. So whatever. 
course I say that, but I'm gonna end up looking at them anyway, because sometimes what I end up doing is, like, when I'm bored, and I'm, like, listening to something else, I'll, like, look through my video's views just because I have nothing else to do. And, you know, I probably would stop doing that, but, like, I don't know. It's just something for me to do with my fingers sometimes. But yeah, as you can tell, I'm not really grasping what I'm doing here. I really need to get a cattail out of that Yeah. A single cattail goes a long way sometimes. I really do. So, getting one out as soon as possible is a pretty good idea. But yeah. This happened with another video, too. It, uh... The, uh... Servants of Harvest was extra stage where that video got like up to eight views and then it got no views and then the views were gone for like a couple days and then all of a sudden it had like seven views again. Wow. How about that? Actually sort of another thing sorta of happened with the uh Oh that's bad. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's really bad. Are you kidding me, Squash? That was completely useless. Why would you do that? Oh, you got two cat tails in there. Well, I mean, I've got the sunflowers and I've got two cattails out, so... Probably get some magnets out, too. Or second the squashes out. I don't need to plant the normal sunflowers anymore, so there's that. But, like, you want to keep the puff shrooms and sea shrooms out, just because you kind of need them. Debating whether I should bring planter, because I, like, I want to be able to see. yet. I didn't grab garlic. Why didn't I grab garlic? Oops. strategy here, did I? I'm gonna start putting lanterns out just like this. Cattails are so good that even though they're like the only thing I have right now because I have not been thinking this through at all. I should have grabbed some snow peas, man. What do I there's just not enough room. I don't have enough slots for what I want to do here. And slots are super expensive, so I'm not getting any more of them. Oh, no one. 
mushrooms and cheese rooms out because they're literally free, so I have no reason not to. Don't eat that. Alright. At least I'm getting a few mushrooms out now, so... I should be able to... Get... Get going here in a bit once I get the, uh... Yeah, next... Next, uh, wave, I'll bring in snow peas, and or like... I'll be able to... If I can get one more cattail out before the end, then I don't have to bring out a cattail, but... Judging by how this is going, it's not gonna happen. Just unfortunate. Come on, cattail, load a bit faster. That'd be extremely appreciated. Cattail, please? Oh, right, I don't have a feeding room. Or god, they just straight up don't want to line up if you don't have the right type of shroom back in the world. There we go, that's all the cattails we need. Yeah, fume shroom set, uh, gloom shroom set, that's are fun. They really are. Alright, looks like we gotta bring blovers now. Which means I'm not gonna bother with, uh... I was gonna bring planter and move them, but now I'm not gonna bother with that. Alright, so... Where's the main, like, things we really need here? Or like we need snow peas. Because I got to the point where I make so many of them that when I go back and watch them, it's only like weeks later. Well, I guess like one interesting thing about these videos is when I go back and watch them, I can kind of get like a, an idea of where my brain was at at the time. I guess one problem with that is I don't really talk about personal stuff too much for the obvious reasons. One thing I can say to date myself when I go back to watch this is in that career there in a couple days. And I still really don't know how to feel about it. Because I was like nervous for the last one. Like then like nothing really done with really it. So at this point, I'm just thinking nothing better than the code at this time. some stuff to prepare for that, and if not, future me is going to be upset for what I just said. Can I put snow peas here? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Do I really need to do much of anything at this point? I mean, this is a pretty good setup. I can bear stuff, I can just... Ah oh, yeah, 
those digger zombies, so I need to make sure I have plenty of magnet shrooms, but other than that, I can just keep the setup going. I guess... I guess I can put some three peters out. Why not? All right, I was gonna grab lanterns just to deal with the radiation. Not such a big problem anymore. Make sure I get the garlics because they're important. And that and my pumpkins to replenish things. I don't really want to put a toma. Like, having a, a damaging plant on the pumpkin is pretty good. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Well, um, you know what? Ice shroom is always good. I didn't grab twin sunflower, oh well. I guess this series is like getting decent the close to getting a close. I mean we got I'm gonna record these two episodes and then it's probably gonna take me a couple recording sessions to record the last couple waves of survival. Like the survival hard stuff that's probably gonna take a while, but like other than that. Like, there's not that much left of this game, and then once I do that, I mean, it's obviously going to take a very long time for this to all be uploaded. But that doesn't matter much for me, because as soon as it does, it's done recording, it's when we just start recording other stuff. And I'm going to be honest, I haven't thought about what I'm going to play next at all. I've just been in a sort of state where, okay, I'm playing Plants vs. Zombies, and I'm playing fan games, and I'm playing pop events. What am I gonna do next, you know? Yeah, I think I'm pretty much born at this point, haven't I? The zombies aren't really gonna be able to do much of anything. I guess it's nice. This is a pretty unorthodox setup. I'm probably... I mean, I can't think of any unorthodox setups for the roof, so it's probably just gonna be your standard winter melon millet pult kind of thing that you'd expect. And then when I get to survival hard, like, you kinda have to use. Oh, damn it. You kinda have to use, like, decent setups if you wanna do anything when you get that, when you get that hard. But at least I've been able to do a couple wacky setups during these normal survival levels. Alright, one more wave and we'll be done. This will be done in like a little over 20 minutes. Oh, a pole vaulter, I should probably- that's really bad actually. I'm gonna need two rows of garlics. Well... What could you possibly eat, planter? Get a replacement planter, where's planter? Alright, two rows of garlic, here we go. And the pumpkins on the planters, just so bad stuff doesn't happen here. Two rows of garlics. Why not? I didn't grab twin sunflowers at the end, guys. Over 2,000 sun in the corner, so I don't need them. Yeah, 
Yep, this looks pretty darn deal to me. Using three Peters in this series, I'll do the most of these three Peters ever. Or a couple of plants, I'm just like, man, three Peters so much better. I mean, they're not, they're not bad if you know what to do. Jamie can't upgrade them though. It's a big thing three Peter has in the room. I'm just waiting for it to end here. This isn't the fastest killing setup, so it's taking a bit. Wow! Because I've got so many magnets, I don't really stay alive to do that. I like how I brought the ice room and it's easy to fill up every row so I can't even find it. I guess I can find it. Right here? But here's a thing using the ice room. Then they wouldn't pick up the ice room and there's only because I haven't gotten those spike boots yet and taking less damage. Not that it matters, it's almost done here anyway. Yeah, you need that other dog. Oh, the one on top's gone. Oh, another diamond. How about that? All this money. And I'm not even really gonna spend it on anything at this rate, because the series is almost over. Sort of. Now it's six more episodes. The last five episodes which going to be pretty long, but it's almost over. But recording-wise, it's not almost over. It's going to take it's probably the only recording I'm going to do with this this week. It's technically only been five days since I played this game last time, which is quite different from the week that it normally is, but still, it's probably going to be the only time I record this week, so it's probably going to be at least another two weeks before I actually finish recording this, which will give me time to figure out what I'm going to play next. Alright, and that is that, so next time I will play the Survival Roof Levels. See ya then.